Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my 2004 Subaru WRX wagon. It's got 263,000 miles on it and I've owned it since 2018. I've, I've gone on like five and a half, six years of ownership and it's been the best car I've ever owned. I love it to death. However, it spent a lot of its time in Michigan and it built up a lot of rust. I'm in Arizona now, so I don't really have to worry about that anymore, but the damage is kind of already done. Uh, apparently it's kind of a common problem for these cars, so we got to fix it. We got to save it. I found this uh, while I was adjusting the suspension before I drove it down here, and that didn't look too good. So when I got down here, I took it apart and I found this, and that's not good either. So I'm going to fix it. I got a bunch of stuff to help me do that, and I'm going to show you step by step either how to do it the right way or how to do it the wrong way. So. Let's get started. All right, so this is the stuff that's gonna help me with the project. I got mostly all of it from Harbor Freight, except for the sheet metal. That came from Home Depot. Uh, some 16 gauge mild steel, a couple different sizes. They didn't have a whole lot to pick through, but I think that should be good. I got the welder helmet with the Sushi Boys logo already on it. Was surprised to see that, gotta keep the brand alive. This is a pretty good uh, beginner welder. Uh, and that's exactly what I am. So I'm kind of excited to use that. Uh, but I also have a fire extinguisher because you never know. Gotta be safe. Welding gloves. Uh, this is gonna go on the inside once I have everything all welded up. And this is gonna go um, underneath in the wheel wells to protect it from the elements. These two things came from AutoZone actually. I forgot about that. Angle grinder blades. Um, this Black & Decker angle grinder I've had for years. I have no idea where it came from, probably Walmart or something, but if I need to grab anything else, I will let you guys know. I'll film it as well, but that's all I have right now, and I think that's all I need, but it should be good. Oh, I, I suppose you might want like a drill for the wire brush unless you want to do that by hand, but I don't think you would want to do that. As you can see, one of the things that made me suspicious that something was wrong was my strut tower brace looks a little crooked. That side is a lot worse than that side. That side does have a hole in it, but it's small. We're gonna patch that one up first. That's the big one that's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of fabricating, but that's okay. We gotta save the car. But I do have to come to terms and realize that my interior is probably never gonna to fit together the same way ever again. It's not like it looks the prettiest in the first place. I mean, this does have, <coughs> ooh. It does have like 260,000 miles on it, so. All the clips are super old. Uh, I'm gonna try my hardest to put it back together. When you're taking it apart, it's all just, it's all just clips, um, a couple bolts here and there. It's really not that bad. You just gotta kind of figure out how it comes apart. Just take things slowly and uh, don't pull anything that you don't have to. If if it feels like there's a bolt underneath it that's preventing you from pulling it, there probably is. All right, so if you jack your car up and your strut tower support brace levels out a little bit, it's still not perfect, obviously, but it's better than what it was. You probably shouldn't be driving your car until you get it fixed. So we got it all jacked up and we got all the interior out. There's all the stuff for the spare tire. Those are just basically panels. You pull them up, there's some clips underneath. Um, I guess I'm not really the best at, in, at instructional stuff for that. Uh, it's all just kind of flimsy plastic clips you pull and where you feel resistance, that's where a clip is. That's pretty much the best way I can explain it. Mine was already half taken apart when I started this because I did check it out earlier. I just put it back together uh, before I started working on it. But uh, here we are. So this is the uh, passenger side. This is the one that isn't that bad, at least comparatively. It looks worse than I remembered it. So that's fun. And then on the other side, this is the doozy. This is the big one. Yeah, that sucks. Um, we are going to try our best. It's going to be a lot of fabrication. All right, so I'm going to start with this side. This is the side that I said had a little hole in it. Uh, comparatively, yes, but it's still pretty large. Uh, I sanded, I wire brushed away some of the, some of the paint so you can start to see like where I kind of have some solid metal. So the idea is to kind of start up here, come down, 
and then kind of bend around and down and back up through kind of like the this area kind of come down and bend around this uh six Siri, I'm not even talking to you. Sorry, I don't understand. No, of course you don't. All right, hold on. Get out of here. Anyways, um, so this six by 18 panel fits pretty perfect. Right up in here, just like that. And uh, I don't have any fancy bending tools, so I just punched it. So I get kind of like the same bend. Uh, I'm gonna measure out where it has to go from the top down and then we'll cut it and how we might even start start welding it. All right, so, so far, so okay. I mean, the wells do not look pretty. They kind of look like trash. That one looks, well, that one still looks like trash. Um, so far, so good though. Uh, it's coming together. I uh, had to do some patches and it, it look, it's not perfect, but it's much better than that. So that's what I'm aiming for. And I'm a nurse, not a welder. So uh, I am trying my hardest. All right guys, uh, another day, and this side is pretty much finished. Um, I know it's not perfect. I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've said that so far, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It was a fun learning experience, and it's pretty solid, so that's cool. This side, however, I, man, it's, it's bad. You can see, I mean, there's holes all the way down there. I'm gonna have to remake almost this entire side it's even like split like in the yeah it's like even split like back there uh yeah it's gonna be a fun one um curious to see how this one will go i still have hope though even though i sound absolutely defeated i'm not i'm just realizing how close to well, okay, most people would comment this as uh, unsalvageable, but not me. I love this car too much. <laughs> Alright, so that was a whole lot of cutting. Uh, I didn't take any video, but I did take a picture, so here's that of what this looks like. Uh, I got this piece of sheet metal all nice and fit in there right now. I basically have to make a new wheel well, and so I'm gonna push this forward so it's nice and snug up on the inside, and then tack weld that down there. I have to weld to the floor because of how much, this one was much better because I actually had some of the strut tower to like mold to. Uh, I'm basically fabricating this, <laughs> I'm basically redoing um, just the entire wheel well. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, this, uh, look, here goes nothing again for like the 20th time. That should just be like the title of this video. So uh, I'm gonna start welding. So, ho so hopefully it'll start to take shape and I start to get a good idea of how, how this goes. <laughs> just burnt through the hole. Or, yeah, of course I burned a hole. I burned a hole through my floor. All right, well, end of the day with the driver's side well, that was really bad. I'm gonna record more welding tomorrow. Um, I mean, it's just like background footage. I'm all out here by myself, so I can't really do too, too much. But basically, I'm just cutting up scraps of metal that I got from Home Depot, figuring out where they go. There's a little bit of trial and error around this spot. Um, I originally tried to wrap another long spot, like around top, and it was just getting to be too much, so. Um, basically, yeah, there's a couple holes I still have to fill in. Um, it's, I'm like using my knee and my wrist to like fabricate stuff, to like bend stuff around. Um, but it's just a bunch of trial and error, really, seeing what 
stuff welds to what I'm gonna get some uh, I think I'm gonna get some caulking or something to fill in some of these gaps that uh, like it's like it's solid um, and I can try to fill in some of these gaps up top however uh, you can't really weld to that because it's all rusty so I might just clean out the rust fill it in with something but just a little bit left not too bad it was kind of difficult at first but hey we're we're in it all right it's another day another rusty wrx i'm going to finish up this little awkward triangle down here do some more uh patches along the side make it a bit more structurally uh intact as much as it can be and then i started sealing up this side with some caulking from walmart uh, it's water resistant, uh, heat and cold resistant, so I just want to make sure absolutely nothing is coming through, uh, like when it rains or anything. So I'm going to let this dry, then we're going to paint over it as well. So we're making progress. Let's uh, fill, this, fill, fill this little gap up. You ever think you missed your calling in life? Not bad. It's not good. But it's not bad either. Let's go. Alright. It's really not that bad. Uh, in all seriousness though, uh, it was not super difficult. Just some weird cutting and bending here. Uh, bending around your knee. Using vice grips to hold corners down before you spot weld them. Uh, like I said, I have no experience welding, so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna start sealing this bad boy up, inside and the outside. Uh, I have some liner and some Rosoleum paint and some new flags. But yeah, so far so good. This thing's been working great. Would highly recommend. This thing's okay too. All right, one more thing before we start sealing up this side. Um, gonna make yourself a, a ground. At, oh, that was hot. Ground. All right, so as you can see, it is later. However, I have painted the inside. It's drying now. Both sides. I got all the caulking on all the seams uh, from Walmart. And just this is just some. Rust-Oleum anti-rust stuff from AutoZone. Uh, so now I'm taking up the wheel well here. Ignore the pile of my car. Taping up a uh, plastic bag from Walmart fits perfectly over this. I cut myself. Um, this is the brake rotor and caliper and all that. Um, I covered the threads for that and we're gonna deadline the inside. Just as some added protection. Just gonna finish up sweeping up some of my uh, weight reduction. Then we're gonna take it for a test drive. Gonna toss the dirt nasty RPF ones on here because the JNCs have a little bit of a camber wear. So it's the moment of truth when I set it down. Make sure my strut tower doesn't jolt up through my roof. Wish me luck. It's the moment of truth. We're gonna we're gonna put it down. So all the weight's gonna be on what I repaired. So. Hopefully the video doesn't end here. Alright, she's bearing weight. I didn't hear any creaking, I didn't hear any flexing. She might be kind of solid. So far so good. I just drove down to the gas station to get some air because these tires were kind of kind of lacking. Uh, I'm gonna go drive over to the car wash now. Everything sounds fine. Everything sounds good. So I haven't had a strut tower burst through my car yet. So good signs.
right, so it's been a couple days and I've probably put about 100 miles or so on the WRX just to make sure, don't worry about that, um, <clears throat> just to make sure nothing comes apart. But this is the interior. It's basically just a mad dash to fit everything in there and try to make it work. I know I'm missing a few parts. I think that cover is it's in a pile somewhere, but I'll grab that. Uh, you know, I knew it was gonna go back together a little wonky. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but it's as close as I could get it because the strut towers did change shape a bit, but it's okay. Um, I mean, it's a lot better than what it was when I started as far as like what's underneath it. So we can just, uh, we can just do that and everything looks all neat and perfect. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I have like no experience welding, so if you have to do anything like this and you have a little bit of experience, I think you'll be much better off than I am. However, I'm really happy now uh, that the car is probably the most stable and sturdy she's ever been since I bought her. Thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Let me know in, in the comments below if you have to do this or uh, if you want to chastise my welds. Uh, hey, I'll take the comments. I'll take the comments. We'll put them through the algorithm. It'll be great. Give me a lot of traction. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Um, but thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, and um, I'll have a rapid fire update here pretty soon, uh, and a couple more stuff um, coming to the channel, but this has been a lot of fun, this has been a big learning experience, I feel a lot more confident if I ever have to do anything like this, and um, hopefully I don't have to do it again, but if I have to, at least uh, I have this as reference, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. Uh, subscribe for a cringy vibe.